Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Got back from uh, Luciferous at the Spooky Movie Film Festival not too terribly long ago. I uh, had a little trouble getting there, so I missed the very beginning of the movie. But the rest of the movie more or less made up for that. Uh, it's a uh, little independent film. It's the first full-length production uh, from Ma Masha Gobankarini. Uh, Alexander Gorlick, uh, and pretty much all of their friends and family. Uh, they, they made this movie over the course of uh, two years, between production and post-production. Uh, they, they starred in it. Uh, Masha and Alexander starred in it. A and their daughter is the, uh, the other star of the movie, uh, and they have friends and family as all the extras, all the other characters, doing the lighting, doing the sound. Uh, it's really impressive for a uh, first film, especially a horror film like this, uh, and especially one that's quite as intense as this is. The story is pretty much about a family, pretty much their family, uh, as it kind of implodes due to things starting to go strangely. Uh, Alex, uh, the, uh, the husband, plays the husband. Uh, Masha, Masa, the, the wife, plays the wife, and their daughter plays their daughter. Uh, you can't get much more straightforward than that. And the tension in this movie is something impressive. Uh, it just keeps going. It takes a little while to ramp up. I, I showed up 10 minutes into it, and uh, it was a, still a little while uh, before you really started to get that, wait, something's really not right here vibe. But that vibe, once it hits, just claws at the back of your brain the entire time as you watch this family start to implode. You watch the the husband, uh, pretty sure he's losing his mind. You watch the wife, pretty sure her husband's losing her mind. You watch the kid deal with her parents fighting. So there's a lot of stuff that may really set some people off. Uh, and that's what makes this such a palpable uh, horror experience is because it is very, very real. Uh, pretty much all the way through. That there are hints uh, of things going on that will keep you guessing whether or not there's something supernatural going on or whether everyone's just going crazy. And that, that, that question lingers right up until the end. A and that's, that's fantastic. There, there have been a handful of movies that have pulled this off relatively well recently uh, on the big screen. And this is on par with most of them, as far as uh, the bulk of the film goes. Uh, the, the end feels a little bit like it comes out of nowhere. Uh, that may be because I missed some little hint at the beginning. Uh, but again, it's their first full-length production, and you can't get much more impressive uh, than this as a full-length production for a family to do. I, I got to talk with the, with the filmmakers a little bit after the showing. They were there for it, and I'm glad they were, uh, because I got to tell them the sound design in this is awesome. It makes a lot of use of ambient sound in places like garages and basements. So you get those mechanical sounds, and they have them cranked up to a level that is just disorienting and almost overpowering, but not quite. And it reminded me very much of uh, what you get in Kubrick, Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, uh, with the uh, big wheels riding down, or the tricycle riding down the, uh, down the hallway, where you can hear the wheels on the carpet and, and going across the different connectors. And it's just such a common sound, but in isolation like that, it becomes utterly terrifying, and that's how it is in parts of this movie. It's just an air conditioner running. It's just the phone ringing. It's just, you know, the sound of the hum of the fluorescent lights in the stairwell. And it's oppressive and scary. 
scary and fantastic. The shots, the, the framing of the shots it is also off kilter sometimes, which again helps throw you off balance. The lighting is very, very well done. Uh, unlike the, the movie I saw last night, stuff that happens at night in uh, Luciferous, you can actually tell what's going on because they've lit the scene properly. They, they've set their, uh, you know, their, their, their aperture properly. So you can tell it's supposed to be night, but you can also see what's going on. And when stuff does really go to complete blackout black, you know it's for a reason, and you know that something really bad is about to happen to someone, or has happened to someone. Maybe something bad happened a long time ago and we're just seeing other things. Time does weird things in the movie. I like that. It's not blatant, it's very subtle in some areas, and, and it's a little tricky to tell sometimes when it happens, but that's the important part. This is not an explicit film in any way, shape, or form. It flows very naturally. It's little slices of life here and there as things just keep going wrong again and again and again. Uh, and I'm not going to spoil any of it. For you, because you should go and see this movie if it comes to a festival near you. Uh, the good news is next year uh, it's going to be distributed in all sorts of different ways. It's going to be uh, digital downloads uh, available on Blu-ray. Uh, they they do have a distribution deal. They they're starting to win awards with this thing, and they are well deserved awards. Uh, so definitely check out Luciferous. Uh, and, and if you can see it where you can uh, talk to the filmmakers, definitely let them know that they should keep making movies. Because uh, if this is their first, I can only imagine what they're going to do uh, moving on. And I'll be very interested another decade or so when they let their daughter actually watch the movie she was in. Uh, because there's some really amazingly intense stuff in this that they completely shielded her from while making the movie. They did their ADR, uh, they, they re-recorded sound and everything, uh, completely separate from the scene, some of the scenes they shot with her in it. So she wouldn't have to associate the crazy feeling she was acting out with things like her bedroom or the, uh, or the condo they live in because uh, they completely shot this at, at their house. It's absolutely amazing how they pulled it all together, and I'm very happy they did. I was very happy to be able to shake their hands and tell them that this is a solid film. It's not perfect, not perfect, but it's very, very solid, and in my opinion, much better than what I watched last night. Uh, this is much more my type of film, where you have that question of whether or not there's something supernatural going on or not. The human drama in it is solid. Needless to say, the relationship dynamics are very believable because they are husband and wife. They are mother and father. That is their daughter. And that makes it all the more terrifying that they actually made this movie and pulled it off and, and did not go absolutely insane while doing it. So Luciferous, uh, check it out. I'll put a link uh, down in the description that takes you to their website so you can see what they're up to next. Definitely, definitely something to check out. I'm Kier. That's it for tonight. If you've seen Luciferous or have your own favorite uh, psychological horror, is it supernatural or is it not a uh, film, uh, mention it in the comments. I want to see what people like and, and uh, what what you're watching. Uh, so comment. Uh, if you like what I've said, uh, hit the like button. If you uh, want to get these every day when I'm putting them up, uh, subscribe. Uh, you get it delivered right to your email. And also share this to anyone else you want who you think would be uh, interested in what I've been talking about here. Uh, so that's it for me. Uh, I'm going to go catch up on a bunch of stuff I didn't get to do 
yesterday or today. Uh, I'm here and I'll see you tomorrow.